We just got a new trailer for Inside Out 2, looking at Riley at the beginning of the film as she's just turned 13, playing a game of competitive ice hockey. At first glance, it doesn't look like this trailer gives you anything about the plot of the film, but there is something huge that this trailer and the last teaser where we got introduced to Anxiety reveals. Both reveal Inside Out 2's villain. The mastermind behind likely the reason why there are new emotions, why the puberty button went off, why the control room has been destroyed. <laughs> and it is none other than our favourite friend who loves to play Bing Bong. Who is your friend who likes to play Bing Bong, Bing Bong? Now you might be saying one of two things. Firstly, Bing Bong is dead, like he has forgotten when he sacrificed himself in the first film, we know he died. And secondly, Bing Bong is a good guy. Well, that second part isn't strictly true. In fact, originally Bing Bong was meant to be a villain when the character was first drafted up. He was annoyed that Riley decided to stop imagining him and stop being happy, so he was originally going to try and destroy Riley from growing up from the inside out. And we do see hints of this in the first film, like how when we first see him, he is tampering with the memories. However, this act of trying to keep Riley young as a villain changed him into sacrificing himself in the actual film. But then that leads us to Inside Out 2, where the puberty button is suddenly activated and we hear this laugh. <laughs> And I had never really noticed this before, I think because Pixar are trying to distract us all with the new emotions, but then the laugh has kept on returning in all of the trailers. Like it appears at the end of both new teaser trailers. We're meant to be paying attention to this laugh, but no one is. And whose laugh does it sound exactly like? None other than Bing Bong's. <laughs> And the perfect villain for puberty sounds exactly like what Bing Bong's original story arc was going to be. No one whilst they're in puberty wants to go through it. It comes with anxiety and all these new emotions as you transition from a child into an adult. The perfect opposite villain to that inside your head is your childhood forcing you not to change and wanting you to remain as a child. Bing Bong is basically the personification of that in Riley's head. And now yes, he is forgotten and technically dead and we did see him fade away, but it's not like this new film is exactly following the same rules. I mean, we have four brand new emotions which goes against everything we knew about the laws of the first film, so Bing Bong could very easily return. Plus, even if Riley has forgotten him, it doesn't mean that the emotions haven't. He could very easily return as a villain for a fight inside of Riley's head without Riley ever actually imagining him. But anyway guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comments. Do you reckon that Bing Bong could potentially return Inside Out 2 and might be the villain? Or do you think this laugh belongs to someone else? Let me know your thoughts down there. And as always, we've been here on Gated Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. I'm not able to slow down now